Hello, Scorpio. So the general energy that I got for you guys um, for um, the first half of August is a star card as a general energy. So this is a beautiful energy to have. It didn't come out in reverse. So it's showing that you are hopeful of your love future, okay? Um, but I'm going to give you a heads up. So someone from your past has returned or they're about to return, okay? Um, but this is a time where you are basically hanging out with friends and family members, okay? You are trying to forget about this person with the three cups and the star card. You're trying to forget about them. However, when you sleep at night, when you're alone, the hermit card is showing that you still think about them. And you thinking of how this relationship went south, like how it came about. And with the two of cups in reverse, this is someone who you thought you could have be in a marriage or a long-term commitment with this person um with the two of cups both of you guys love each other um however the connection never came out to what you want it to be since this came out in reverse and with the inference card it's showing that you still are hopeful of your love life growing either without this person or with this person you know that your love life is going to transition for the better, okay, with the Empress card. But at the same time, with the Eight of Swords, you feel bounded by this person. You know, you're trying to date other people with the Three Cups. You're trying to get your mind off of this person. But with the Eight of Swords, it's like it's very hard for you to not do this, okay? Um, okay. Now, when I clarify the Three of Cups, I got the Two of Pentacles. <laughs> The six of, I mean, the ten of wands and the six of swords in reverse. So with this combination, it's showing that while you're going out, while you're hanging out with friends and family members, while you're dating other people, your significant other, your ex, is either thinking to come to return to you, or they're in the process of returning to returning to you, or you they already have returned to you, because we got the six of swords in reverse. And this is someone who basically, this is someone who, I feel like you guys broken up with this person and this person had to leave and they had to leave. But now they have, they want to return because they see that they still have love for you with the Six of Swords. Even though they know that you're probably going to return them back, okay, they are trying to really make the effort with the Ten of Wands to come back to you. Okay, but they still not too sure of whether or not you will accept them or not. Okay. Now, when I clarify the Hermit card, I got the Three of Swords, the Knight of Wands, and a Two of Wands in reverse. So, this is someone who put you in a third party situation was cheating on you with the three of swords and three of cups as well um but i feel like even though they are returning and you're trying to take your mind off of this person you still are carrying the emotional pain from this person and you are really protecting your heart and i feel like that's another t another reason why it's very hard for you to move on from this person because this person make you have baggage Okay, or this person was trying to make you have baggage either consciously or of them not being aware because of the actions that they was doing. Okay, they probably was trying to make you insecure, or they because of their actions or because of them cheating all the time, it became it make you insecure about yourself. And with the three of swords, it's showing that you you like. It's very hard for you to basically open your heart again. You know, it's it's very hard for you. And with the Knight of Wands, it's showing that again. It's showing that you're very protective. Even when you're dating. Even when you're, you know, going out and stuff like that. You're very protective because of this emotional trauma that you experienced from this person. Okay? So, this person is trying to return to you. Okay? While you try and forget about them. Um, but you're still carrying the emotional pain. And you still don't see a future with them with the two of wands in reverse.
Now, when I couldn't find the Two of Cups in reverse, I got the Ten of Swords. So, with this, it's showing that this relationship really, it came to a point where you feel like there's no returning for you on your half. On the other person, they know they know that you're probably going to push them away, but they're still returning, okay? But for you, you feel like there's no coming back from what they did with the Ten of Swords, okay? Now, when I clear for the imprints, I get the King of Cups in reverse along with the Five of Wands and the Magician card. So, this person know how to use your emotions to manipulate you. Um, this is someone who's very manipulative, but with the King of Cups, this also represents Scorpio. This person really throw you off your balance, okay? Um, this, and I feel like when this person returned, or if this person already returned in the past two weeks, it's going to be a big fight, okay? And with the Magician in reverse, even though you want to expand in your love life... You feel like you can't change this person, okay, with the magician in reverse. And you feel like the the situation you had with your past um, or your significant other that you're not in good terms with right now, you feel like you can't grow with it. You feel like you feel like you can't manifest growth even though you know it's possible with the two of cups in reverse. Like, you know that it can be, but it's just not happening. The two of cups in reverse and the magician card in reverse is showing that it's not happening even though it can Okay. Now, when I clarify the Eight of Swords, I got a lot of cards. So, I accept all the messages because they all came out at once. Um, but basically, I got the Judgment card, the Hierophant. The Queen of Pentacles in reverse, the the Ace of Swords in reverse, the Will of Fortune, the Hangman, the Four of Wands, the Six of Pentacles in reverse, and the Tower. So with this, with this, all these cards coming out. You feel trapped because this person recently returned to you with a judgment card or will return to you. And at that moment, you're going to feel trapped. This person going to pretend or... Not, I don't even think it's pretending. I feel like it's, they are being serious this time where they are trying to say, yes, be committed. I'm not going to cheat. I'm not going to do anything that's going to jeopardize the relationship. However, you know that they're not loyal. They do, they're not loyal at all with the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. And... With the Ace of Swords in reverse, this is someone that you can't trust. This is someone who always lie. Like they, you could probably saw hardcore facts and that they're cheating, and they will pretend like no, I'm not doing that. So this is someone who can't even admit to their wrongs. But this time, they are trying to be serious. But I feel like because they put you through the worst, you can't trust them no more. This is someone that you really can't trust with the Ace of Swords in reverse and the Queen of Pentacles. Like, they put you through the worst. But I feel like they have changed with the Will of Fortune. Because the Will of Fortune representing change. It's kind of like the Death card. It's not so dramatic like the Death card. But with the Will of Fortune, it just show change. Now, could it be permanent? And could it be um, not permanent? That depends. But I feel like they have changed for the moment being, okay? And with the Hangman... In reverse, I feel like that's your energy. I feel like you are not, you like you you don't feel like the connection will work out in your favor. You're not patient for them to change, okay? Or if they come to you recently or in the next two weeks saying that they change, you feel like you don't have the patience to go through that bullshit again or through that relationship to see if they're gonna cheat on you, if they're gonna do something wrong, blah blah blah. Like you do not have the patience, okay? Because you feel like they're going to go back to their old ways and make the committed relationship non-committal no more. There won't, like, you feel like there won't be a balanced equal equal exchange between you guys with the Six of Pentacles in reverse 
And I feel like you basically, when they come back, you're going to be shut down. Like, you're going to shut them down with the tower card. They're going to say that they're serious with the hair from the judgment. And I feel like they have changed with the Wheel of Fortune. But I feel like you, you already made up your mind, you know. Okay, with the tower, it, it feel like you already made up your mind and you're done with the situation. Like, you want a breakup again, okay, when they return. But at the same time, you still love you still love them with the Eight of Swords, okay? And it's keeping you trapped, okay? Because while you there hanging out with friends, hanging out with family members, and try to date other people, this is when they want to return. And it's keeping you trapped, and now they're saying that they changed, you know, with the hair found card and the judgment card, now they're trying to say they change. And now you don't know, like, what to do. But I feel like you're going to side more with your past experience with them. And you're going to see that this person's lack trust. Uh, I mean, you can't trust them, basically. And I see with the tower card that you're going to break up with them. Okay? Now... When I clarify the star as a general energy, I got the Nine of Pentacles in reverse, the Nine of Swords in reverse, the Moon card in reverse, the Six of Wands in reverse, and the Nine of Cups in reverse. So you may be done with a Taurus, a Virgo, a Capricorn, Libra, Leo, Aquarius, or another Scorpio. Um, but with this combination, you are hopeful that your love life with them will improve either with them or without them, okay? You are hopeful. Um, with the Knight of Pentacles in reverse and the Knight of Swords, I feel like you don't want to go through what you went through with this past person anymore. You want to release yourself because this person was making you go through your emotions like no other. And with the Moon card in reverse and the Six of Wands, you came to realization that you was not happy in this connection even though you loved them. Okay, you see that you were disappointed many times with them with the Knight of Cups in reverse and the Six of Wands in reverse, and you came to realize, realization that you were not happy, even though you was if even though when you guys was in a relationship, you was not happy with them because of what they was doing or how the relationship ended, but you still love them, and I, that's why I feel like you're still gonna feel trapped with the Eight of Swords. This person say they're gonna like they are serious this time, and I do see them changing, but I don't know if it's gonna be a permanent one. But when they come back to you, they are gonna be serious, but I don't know if it's gonna be long term or not. Okay, but I do still see you trusting your past experience. You don't want to go through that no more. You don't want to go through your emotions like that no more with the Nine of Swords in reverse. I see you basically releasing them. Okay with the nine of swords okay even though it was very hard for you to do that okay and that's the reading that i got for you scorpios thank you for watching and thank you for subscribing